Hey guys, welcome back to Kiwi Classics. So today, another one off-site. Uh, we're actually here again today with uh, Kevin Tate from Paint Education. And we are working on Vice Grip Garage's OBS 454 clone truck. Uh, Kevin's doing a bunch of paint work on, or repaint. Uh, it was red, then it's black, and it's going black again. Yeah, it's going black again. We're putting a really nice paint job on it. And it was a good paint job. It was, you know, it looked great going down the road. I got video on my channel. I took it for a test drive. I may have lost traction a couple of times because it's got a hot built LS in it. But Derek and I were bench racing and he wanted to do some things to it. He's always on the road doing revivals and he just didn't have time. So we did some favor trading and um, he's not far from me. So it's kind of a cool thing to, to be able to help him while he helps me with some stuff. Anyway, he wanted a Zed Sled style paint job on it and he wanted it super flat and shiny. And the way we do that is to make it flat and then prime it and then put the paint job on it. The paint job is the lens into the bodywork and it shows us what's underneath. So what all of this is, is just flattening it out, straightening it out. And we'll put a high build polyester on there and then block that out and shoot it and, and it'll be good. In the meantime, there's some other stuff that's going to happen to it. We're going to put get it down onto a Rytec suspension system, as well as um, the different wheel and tire choice. Derek wants a big, fat wheel and tire on this thing, so uh, we're going to make some relief. Is he going like 20s or...? I, th I don't know. He's, right. he's narrowed down on the style of wheel. I'm going to let that be up to him. But he said, hey, can we put tubs in the bed? And I said, yes. <laughs> yes you do. So, yeah, so we can. So, okay. you know, and the best time for all that to happen is obviously before paint. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So there's the bed. Yeah. So I volunteered my services to uh, come down, give Kevin a hand. Uh, He's, uh, Kevin was, uh, is the gentleman responsible for painting my KSV 9000, which, uh, and if you look back on my videos, you'll see that. Um, and that was not an easy paint job. That was, was a lot very of detailed, a lot of stripes, a lot of graphics, yeah. ghost graphics, uh, a lot of clear, a lot of polishing. Yeah. So, um, you know, Kevin stepped up and did a high end paint job on that. I'm I'm proud of that paint job because today it still holds up. Yeah, it hasn't shrunk, it hasn't peeled, it hasn't done anything wrong, yeah. and uh, it still it still looks looks really really good. Yeah. So uh, you know, I mean, one Kevin's a good mate of mine, so I'm happy to help him. And two, I kind of still feel I'm a little bit in the red from that that paint job. So um, you know, and 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 honestly, the, the success that came with that car. Um, so it wasn't just the paint job; it was actually that you managed to. Help me produce a product that people saw, people loved, and people went, wow, this guy can actually do some stuff. So, it, you know, it, it, it helped me, and it was more than just getting a paint job on the car. It, it helped help project me into into a better place business wise. Well, you know, the best thing that happens in this world that we live in and fixing cars and doing this stuff is to meet friends and to yeah. be able to, to help each other. Yeah. And, and if, if that happens along the way and we can lift each other up, it, it's great. And, yeah. you know, um, Chris is on my YouTube channel also and helping me and, and, you know, hopefully some of the people that, that subscribe to my channel will now find a way over to Chris and, and things like that. So Kevin yeah. Tate's at Kevin. Page, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Page education by Kevin. By Tate's. Kevin Tate's. Yeah. Should know that really. I'm yeah. doing an Tony here and getting the name wrong all the time. <laughs> but paint education is the big thing, and my thing. Yeah, I love doing the YouTube stuff, but I'm very passionate about putting the skill set into the hands of the next generation coming up. So I've got training programs on my website and things like that, and that's really what I try and promote. And the YouTube stuff is fun, and it's a fun way to talk about my training. So that's um, when you go to my channel, you're going to find that. Yeah, do, do go over there. He's got some really valuable information over there. Yeah. Really valuable information, stuff that you'll be able to use in the real world. And um, what Kevin does is, is is in the real world. So, yeah. All uh, right, what are we doing, Kevin? Well, we've got AMG panels. These are high quality stainless. This is just the stock inner wheelhouse for this bed on this. It's an eighty-eight to ninety-four um, Chevrolet truck, nicknamed the OBS truck. That's really loud. And nobody really makes an extended tub. So we're going to use a second set of these AMD panels and extend it out. And what Chris told me 
He said, it's just cutting metal. So I said, well, come on down and help me cut some metal. <laughs> so that's what we're doing here. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's um, slice and dice, right? Yep. Slice and dice. All right, well, we're going to um, start cutting, start grinding, and with a bit of luck, start welding. Yeah. All right, we'll let's have at it. Sneaking, be, uh, sneaking we'll get, up on we'll get, yeah, mm, yeah. yeah. We'll get set up and I'll be back in a second. Yeah, so we made a big hole. Yeah. Good start. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, that's going to drop down in there. So, weld it around here, weld it over the top. Yeah. Then we got. Man-sized wheel tubs. Yes, for man-sized wheel tires. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that should uh, put a smile on VGG's face. And it'll look factory. Factory, yeah. With the correct yeah. arch and the stampings. Yeah, these little cool little stampings. I mean, instead of having two on there in total, we're going to have like four. Yeah. Of these little indentations you got here, so. Uh, yeah, I'll like keep them looking factory as like a bonus if I can. Yeah. So that's quite nice. All right, uh, a bit more cutting, a bit more grinding, and we'll be back.
All right, so we have white tubs. I think it looks great. Yeah, I do too. We've got a nice, neat little join around here. Just run around here with the MIG. Get that welded in. Kevin's you get to decide whether we're going to do a splice cut through here or overlap it. Um, so I don't think there's a wrong answer either way. No, I mean, probably butt welding is the, like if you're chip foosing it, yeah, you know, then yeah, butt weld it and hammer and file it and mm -hmm. do all that stuff. So these are wheel tubs in a truck. Yeah, um, you know, so yeah, I mean, the overlap will be fine as long as it's like obviously, it, you know, it's fully welded, and then you seam seal it underneath nicely, right? Right. Yeah, you know, protect it from the weather so it doesn't get in between the layers, and it'll be golden. Yeah, but yeah, that looks um, pretty darn good. Looks like it's supposed to. There's the narrow side. And the white side. So that added exactly four inches in. Just ran that was basically as much as we kind of had within the fender. Yep. Uh, to give us the four inches. And that, that takes us to the chassis rail. So it all worked out perfectly, yep. really. And the cool little factory looking dimple thingies here, here. Now yeah. we've got four instead of two. I, yeah. I kind of like that. Sure, you can pick that up being so black, but there's little. Uh, Let's throw a little light on this up. Oh, look at that. There you can see it. You've got these little indentations here. So now, yeah, instead of being just the two here and then turning the corner, we've got one, two, three, four. Yep. So. And it only took 75 tools to <laughs> get it completely done. It was good standing up there on that little trestle doing the work. Like, hey, Kevin, I had, a, I had a gopher, which is kind of quite nice. <laughs> hey, get this. Hey, get that. <laughs> it really wasn't like that. Um... But no, that's good. I think um, Derek from Oscar Garage will be happy with that. Uh, yeah, I think he'll be really happy with that. I know yep. I would be. So, yeah, we're going to tear in and cut up the other side. So yep. we'll get that done and come back and show you the show you with both sides done. And it's beer time. And then it's beer time, yes. Okay, well the day's kind of drawn to an end and uh, we've got the old wheelhouse cut out of that side. Uh, it's 90% shaped in to drop in there and kind of start looking like that one. So uh, we've got Kevin well on his way. I think he can, uh, it's not going to be a problem for him to just do what we did on that side. Yep. On that side. If nothing else, I can look at the videotape. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So yeah, uh, that's us. That's us. We're done. I'm done for the day. I think you're done for the day, Ed. I'm done for the day. Yep. We got a fair bit done. I got really tired watching you do all that metal work. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's it. It's a uh, good night from me, and it's good night from him, as I used to say. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. See you.